just this huge pile of smoke and then it sounded like a huge cannon went off and then it another one just happened right across from us and it it, it was just this huge, huge explosion and there's just debris everywhere a big huge explosion while we were having lunch yeah. and everybody ran for the doors and windows and we were sheltered under tables oh when it hit the elevator the elevator shook the whole building it was quite a blast two of them scared the hell out of us these explosions occurred 50 to 100 yards apart and uh, each scene uh, resulted in multiple uh, casualties. Explosion looked like it was right outside the Marathon Sports, you know, right by the finish line there, or the building next to it. We have seen at least uh, six people come in. You can see some of the people coming in on stretchers. They've got that, that shiny foil uh, wrap around them. Uh, some of them, I suspect, are runners. Some of them may have just been uh, uh, bystanders. We don't really know because this all happened close to the medical tent, and as you know, they have those those foil wraps. Many, many people injured, and those injuries are severe. Uh, there was a lot of blood left at the scene. Uh, we helped uh, localities. We put, we're picking them up, uh, putting pressure on wounds. Um, a lot of people were hurt. We just threw them, ran as fast as we could down here to get blood. They were banged up bad. Uh, severe lacerations, uh, amputees. Um, a lot of shrapnel, you know, they were pretty big explosions. We still do not know who did this or why. And people shouldn't jump to conclusions before we have all the facts. But make no mistake, we will get to the bottom of this. And we will find out who did this. We'll find out why they did this. Any, respons uh, any responsible individuals, any responsible groups will feel the full weight of justice.